Hi, it's Larry Gaines, Power Cycle Trading. I'm going to show you some of the market action here today, the uh, 24th of April. Before I get started, though, I'd like to make sure I invite you to this boot camp I'm putting on this Saturday, April the 27th. Uh, it'll be a virtual boot camp. It starts at 10 a.m., goes to 4 Central, and we're going to be having a Q&A follow-up on May the 2nd. So if you'd like to join me, go to PowerCycleTrading.com slash bootcamp, or BC, day trade. Uh, this will also be posted on the uh, email of this uh, video. So uh, it's going to be a really great day for learning to day trade uh, using our power cycle trading model. And I like great deals, so I'm giving a great deal here for anybody that joins me. Uh, you get a ch choice of your power cycle day trading course. We have a futures and a stock day trading course. Uh, you'll get you know the inv invite to the trading room or, or to this training session, which will be you know over six hours. Uh, one month to the daily uh, virtual trading room that we use, uh, our daily aftermarket outlook, one month free to that, option trading made simple, and our support follow-up webinar. So all this a value over 3000 you guys like to join me, please sign up today, 897 and uh, for members it's 597 So we're going to cover a lot of great material. Uh, you can pretty much pack it in after that day and you'll have a good feel for day trading and uh, you'll definitely be a lot better uh, come the following Monday. Now I'm going to start off with the NASDAQ 100. We had a pretty narrow range day today. You can see very narrow range. Uh, low 28.15, uh, high 28.39. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't try to take out the high, but Apple was a, you know, kind of a drag on the market. Apple was a, a little bit uh, kind of a crazy uh, market on Apple, but you can see here from the high back uh, on the, um, that high came on the 11th of April down to the low back on the 18th. We've retraced all the way back to the 786 and closed back under it a little bit today. Uh, overall, nice rebound. Uh, our trading model is currently long on the um, medium term time frame, which we use the daily, and it's gone neutral. It's doing nothing on the uh, intermediate term. And it's also in a what we call a volatility squeeze. We're in a squeeze set up here for the daily and also for the intermediate term. So what that uh, says is that you know we're having price consolidation. You can see it here, starting to consolidate back and forth, kind of a narrow range. So it's going to break up or down. Now Friday we're going to have um, the GDP number. So a lot of times it'll wait for some big event like that to take the direction either up or down. That'll serve as a catalyst. So here's Apple. You can see Apple after earnings uh, last night had a really good pop, almost up to $430. Came off real hard into the open today and um, had a couple of good buy entries based on our system. And then you can see a nice sideways, very nice, nice tight. Uh, this is a squeeze right here, very tight squeeze. And then how, how you want to play the squeeze is, you know, we have a model of indicators, but we also use trend lines. So you're going to look to, to uh, buy on a break of the trend line. So here you can see a pennant formation. If you lock, draw a trend line down here, draw a trend line down there. And then when you see a tight, tight, narrow squeeze like this, you want to buy in the direction of the breakout. So here's a really great, I mean, that is a tight squeeze right there. And look at the explosion off that. So uh, that was a great buy setup. And our system signals kicked in there as well. Uh, so that went from 402 up to uh, 406, a nice four dollar move uh, in about 10 minutes. So using weekly options, that was a great trade to the upside, a really potential high high potential um, high profit trade set up right there. Then you had another pullback here, held the 21 period moving average, another break to the upside. So some really good day trades today set ups on uh, Apple. Quick one moving forward, Apple needs to break this trend line which comes in right at today's high, about 415. And to really get going, it's going to have to get through this 419, which was the prior low. If it can get through that, then it's got some really good upside potential. Uh, but this is going to be some serious resistance going forward. Another really nice mover today was crude oil. Crude oil has been in this medium term, intermediate, medium and intermediate term trend to the upside. Uh, our power cycle model, um, you know, is on the medium term trend. It kicked in long yesterday. Uh, but had a great breakout today. You can see how it broke through the 8 EMA, stopped at the 21. This is going to be major resistance here at the 50% retracement, which comes in about 92.30. And 
and you can see the pivot low there, pivot low there. So this is an area that I'll be looking at for uh, a potential short. If we get up here to this area, pushes through, turns down. Based on our model, this will be a good short setup. Had some really good long setups today on crude oil with our system. Right here about 810 central, another one about 1010 central, another one about 1145. So some good trade activity. You can see it's starting to roll over and pull back a little bit, but um, I'm going to look at it tomorrow uh, around this 50% retracement. Last but not least, gold. You can see gold is into the 382 right here, having some trouble there. If it gets through that, then the 50% retracement comes in about 1470. So a really nice trade setup right here. This came at about 1230 today. Nice um, uh, pull back here, consolidated squeeze, broke to the upside, powerful move to the upside. So some you know some pretty good trades on gold as well. But this was one of the big ones. Uh, earlier. So if you'd like to learn how to day trade with us, sign up for my boot camp this coming Saturday, the 27th, and uh, join our service and uh, join our trading room. Uh, good luck trading tomorrow, and um, hope to see you Saturday.